Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back. Happy Sunday evening to you all. I'm over here at the Ontario International Airport at the abandoned portion of the airport. And I was here once before, but I got the information incorrect. So this time I'm here to revisit the area to get it correct this time. So without further ado, let this vlog begin. So the last time I was here, I was under the impression that these buildings were built pre-1940. It kind of looks 1930-ish, so I figured it's from the 1930s. And then after that, I assumed, hmm, maybe it was used for World War II. But I couldn't have been more wrong. Upon further investigation, I was able to determine that these buildings weren't even existing during the Second War. Ontario Municipal Airport, as it was known at the time, later becoming Ontario Army Airfield. And the change was due to World War II. 875 acres owned by the Army. This area was basically a vast field with a few runways, a few hangars, and no buildings. As a matter of fact, even by 1948, they still didn't exist. It wasn't until 1949 when the city of Ontario decided to build a major airport, an international airport. And once the airport was completed, this was the area for the Air National Guards. Most of the section is now abandoned, but it's still with us today. That's all that matters. So let's go check them out. Okay, this is the side of the administration office. I can't park on the street. There's no parking at all whatsoever. Here's the back of it. You guys can see it's seen better days. Look at that. This was built in the early 50s. And this is what it looks like today in 2018. It still looks nice with those palm trees in front of it. Okay, our next building we're gonna check out is right on the side of the administration office. This one right here, this used to be the old supply building. After further research, I just saw that it was a supply building and that's all I really know about it. And I don't think that this is 100% abandoned. I mean, there's some, there's some uh, wood on the door, covering the door there, but I don't think it's 100% abandoned. Right next to the supply department is the motor repair department. This is where they used to repair the airplane's motors. A really cool building, a really simple building, but one question, is it really necessary to have that chimney as tall as the control tower? I don't know why, but I'm sure there's a purpose. And if you guys wanna come over here, be very careful because I'm standing in the street. There is no sidewalk around here. Wow, he's not joking. He's doing like 50 miles an hour and there's no sidewalk here. Oh snap. Wow, that was a feisty woman driving that truck. Just on the other side of the administration office is this huge yard right here. This used to also be a motor repair yard and that structure right there was a supply department. There's a mini hangar and um, over there is where the administration office used to be. And right across the street from the motor yard is the ultimate Air National Guard hangar that was built in the early 1950s. Awesome, isn't it? And this is definitely one of my favorite buildings slash hangers here by far. Maybe it's because of the fact that it's screaming 1940s. You don't really see this stuff going up anymore. Very unfortunate. I guess the only time you really do see it is when you're watching an old war movie or if you have to come to the airport your damn self. Which I much prefer to do because I care to see things with my very own eyes rather than through a TV screen. So those were some buildings over here at the old Air National Guard area at the Ontario International Airport.
Well, everyone, that concludes this vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to live, learn, and explore. Until the next time, see ya.